Hello and welcome to the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles. I'm Crazy Joe and you're not. Thank goodness for that. And you might be saying the same thing, but you know what? I'm better than you most of the time. Okay. The only thing that I omit that I'm not having too much great success in is um, I can't get an IT guy to I can't get an IT guy that I'm looking for to you know put my show together and uh, it has become very difficult so I'm left to do these stupid fucking videos that I'm not really into I mean I don't mean to say it like an arrogant fuck but Videos are just videos. They're not, you're not interacting with anyone, especially on YouTube. And uh, I had a face crap video and uh, those scumbags reported me and uh, now I can't do videos. But I will always find a way to do a video, whether it's a live video or pre-recorded video like this. The word gets out. Crazy Joe is here to stay and rule the fucking landscape. Because I'm sick and tired of all the bullshit that's going on in the world. Now, I'm going to make this video and I got to warn the women out there. <laughs> They're not going to like what I'm going to say right now, okay? And before I start with my opinion on something... Um, I do respect women. I love women. Uh, I think women are God's gift to man. But these are the right women. These are the women with respect. Today's women have no respect for men. And men are traitors. And if this was like the old days, they probably would have hung these guys for betraying their creed and their um, their manhood because men are the ones that gave these women their freedom, as they say, their rights, as they say. And um, that's really bad because in the beginning when they were given that freedom... Uh, it was supposed to be just that. Give the women their their rights. And now, women don't respect men at all. And you know whose fault that is? Men's fault. The men in the government. The men who make the laws. Betrayed their own kind. By giving these women freedom and rights and everything. And what do you got out of it? You got a bunch of fucking cunts out there that behave exactly like cunts. They don't respect men. You got your lesbians, you got your, uh, and they, of course they hate men, and I know what that's all about, but I'm not going to talk about it. Maybe another segment about why women become lesbian. And of course, yes, it's always the man's fault. Um, you got the feminist movement out there, which I can't fucking stand. To me, it's a, uh, it's a threat to our national security. Um, because women want to hang men by the balls upside down. They want to torture them. They want to kill them. Uh, and they want a world exclusively of women. And I haven't heard this from a feminist yet. But this is what they're thinking. Especially when that Ashley Judd bitch cunt fuck was bitching about men that they have such... They, about toiletries and douches and how they have to pay more money than men and and uh, all kinds of stupid shit. Check it out on YouTube when she was talking out there in Washington. Ashley Judd. She's a fucking asshole. She's not even a great actress. She's a shithead. But let me tell you about that. Hollywood right now is being overrun by feminists. They're on TV and these cop shows... Kicking the shit out of men, punching men in the mouth, all this bullshit. 
listen, there are women out there who are capable of physically putting a hurt on a man, but for the most part, men are the superior, we are stronger, and we are physically stronger, and we would crush any woman. I'm talking about your average size woman who dare come after us in a physical way, we would fuck them up. Trust me on that. And you don't even have to be a good fighter as a man to fuck up a woman. Your strength and your manhood is good enough to do the job. So here's the thing. Now, I know a lot of you women out there are very angry with me right now, and that's good. And uh, because I speak the truth, because yeah, I'm from the old school, and the old school, the women had respect, and they were given their rights, because I wasn't born back in the 1900s, I was born in, in the 50s. But even the women then had respect, but now they got no respect. They hate men, they want to fuck men, and I'm not talking about sex, I'm talking about in every aspect, they want to have all this power, their judges, their um, prosecutors, like that fucking asshole over there in New York City that, that came after Cuomo. Uh, Leticia. Why can't you get a real fucking name? You know what I mean? That's another subject in another time with the Chocolatos. But um, it is it is horrible what we're going through as men. It's bad enough that the world is fucked up. Now we got to deal with cunts and fucking bitches and feminists and all these fucking lesbians and all these fucking women that hate men. And if they had their way, they would eliminate men. You think I'm stupid? They would do their version of their world order. But here's the part that's really going to make you hate me. I've been seeing on TV lately the uh, Taliban, right? They're whipping women and the women are protesting. See, because they got spoiled by the Americans. You know, we spoiled them. Oh, you can... You can get a man by the balls and you could squeeze him and he's not going to do nothing about it because today's men is, are fucking wimps and they're going to take your orders and they're going to take your fucking bitching and moaning in your face. And we, 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 we shouldn't have done that. That's a separate culture. That's a different culture. Not my culture, not your culture. But you know what I did like about it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything here to demonstrate, but um, uh, they were taking, um, they were whipping the women that were protesting. I think that that's what we need in the United States. We need to, to punish these feminists and these cunts that have been all promoted in Hollywood thinking who the fuck they think they are, giving them status that we shouldn't be giving them. And I think a little uh, whooping uh, would solve the problem temporarily, of course, not permanently. We need to, um, and we'll never do it. Once the laws are in the books, that's it. Um, but uh, any men out there, and I'm suggesting, if you want to put your woman in her place, and she's like, I want my rights. You just take out the old belt, you know, and just go whoosh. But like the Taliban did to the women. It's only going to be temporarily. It's not going to last. I mean, she'll come back and, you know, she'll call the cops on you. You know, I'm going to call the cops. You know, because like I said, men are stronger. But in a psychological way, it will enable the woman to have a little bit more respect for you. Because women today are out of fucking control and they have no respect for men. Men, it's time we became real men. I know a lot of you will disagree. Oh, what's, what's Joe saying? That it takes a real man to, 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 to beat up a woman or whip a woman? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. You're less of a man. But if you're a woman and you got a big fucking mouth and you want to disrespect men and you want to fucking go, eh, 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 you're going to do what I say. Eh, eh, eh. 
I'll come right back with a little bit more of that.